So I had a poll on my community tab one day and I asked like how many of you are preparing for the FANG jobs, right? And I didn't imagine like that many people are interested in FANG jobs. I mean, why not? And my question was about like, are you actively preparing? And 60-70% of you said yes. And that's kind of shocking because I didn't know like that much or that many of my audience is actually want to get a FANG job. And not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not saying doing or uh, working to get a FANG job is a bad thing. But I want to tell you some light. Like if you are young, like maybe you're 18, 19 or 20, right? Even you're older, like me, 35. It's not that these jobs are bad. The thing with these jobs are, these jobs are very rare. If you take, let's say, 100 developers, less than 2% or two developers are actually working in FANG jobs. 98 of you will be working in a, like a Fortune 500 or maybe a startup, or maybe a series A company or B company. I don't know so many levels now we have, right? So vast, vast majority of you will never work in a FANG company. And I'm here to tell you that that's okay. You don't have to work in a FANG company. And why do people want to work on those companies? Uh, I think the two, maybe two or three, two main reasons. First is obviously money. They pay you a lot, which is good. And second is prestige. I mean, when you say like, I work at Google, people will see you with different look, right? Oh, you work at Google, you must be smart. Maybe you are, right? And I think the third thing maybe people try to work there is like, they think like they're going to work on the newest tech, the AI, the machine learning, or like the Android phones, the iPhones, right? And this is what like we feel like, especially if you're like young, 20, 25, you, f you would feel like one day, like as you join these companies, you will just start working on these cool projects. They'll give you the code base, go and go crazy and type this code and make this feature in your iPhone and like make this feature in Android or do something with Chrome. But that is not what happened most majority of time. Majority of time, you'll be a part of a big corporation. I mean, these fan companies have huge trillions of dollars in market, market cap. And you'll be part of a big team which is divided further in the smaller team side. And when you join them, you'll feel like your contribution is not like you're doing something crazy. Most majority of the time, especially if you're junior, your role will be very confined to few things. And to be honest, you may feel like you're the smartest person, but inside you would know that you're not working on something cool because you thought that one day you would be working on something cool, right? This video is brought to you by Scrimba. So Scrimba is a platform I used seven years ago when I was starting my journey. And to be honest, this is one of the OG platforms, like still going solid, and they're still offering a lot of new stuff as well as the basic stuff like JavaScript, TypeScript, React. And to get started with Scrimba, you can pick any of the courses. And the beauty of this platform is that 80% of the courses are free. So when you go to your courses, you will see a Scrim. So Scrim is basically a combination of text editor and a video player. So unlike other courses where you need to open your own text or code editor, copy the code, paste it there, run your own browsers, you need to do a lot of things. But in Scrimba, inside Scrim, you will get that by default. So if you're doing an exercise, what you can do, you can start typing here and you have a terminal and you have your browser. Basically, you can see like what your code does. Along with that, Scrimba has a lot of projects as well so that you can get hand-on experience. So when you use Scrimba, like it's not like a place where you can just passively learn things. You have to be actively present. You need to type a lot of code, which is good because you need that practice, especially when you're starting, right? So you need that practice. And as I already said, the 80% of the content is free. And if you choose to go with the paid option, and when you go with the yearly subscription, you get 50% discount on your yearly subscription. There's a link in the description that gives you additional 20% off. I would highly recommend to at least try the free courses so that you can try and feel what this platform gives. Now, back to the video. Imagine this scenario. Someone, there are two friends. The first one in 2017, 2018 joined a startup called OpenAI. And at the same time, the other person joined Google, right? And after eight or seven odd years, I mean, the person who joined Google probably have good salary. I'm not, I don't know how much they're making, but assume they're making like 200,000 a year, right? And what about the, the first guy? Assuming like he's still or she's still working with OpenAI for that eight years, their net worth would be in monetary value would be 10x of that at least because of the shares and everything. And you would be the part of 
a team that created AI. Assuming AI is go continue going crazy, you would be the someone who worked in a team that created AI and for next 100,000, 10,000 years, people will say that, oh, this person, he worked at or she worked at OpenAI for 10 years or something and they helped creating the OpenAI. So this is what I'm talking about. I know these companies, their prestige, they pay you good, but there is a world outside of that company which is equally excited, I would say, because end of the day, you'll be, if you're junior, you'll be doing the minimal work. Like if you're working at a start, that's fine. But for majority 500 fortune companies, you'll be doing like, you'll be part of a big team. You'll be doing some small amount of work. And I'm not saying like that will be easy, but this is what you'll be doing. So, I'm not saying you should not join fan companies, but the odds are pretty much stacked against you because most of the fan jobs, the two types of people who get most fan jobs, first, who got internship at those jobs so that they can get the full offer, right? And second, if you're already working on, they call it tier one co companies where like, it's like, I don't know, like Pinterest, right? So these are the companies of Snapchat and I think when they scan your resume, they will look like, where did you work before? And if you worked at those companies, they'll give you preference because for one position, there's maybe like 10,000 applicants, right? And there are internal hirings as well. Like people need to be promoted and then that takes away a lot of uh, vacancies. So what I'm saying here is that that's okay if you can't get FANG. That's perfectly fine. That more than fine. You don't need a FANG. Maybe why not you create your own FANG? You can create for yourself, right? Why to think so small? This is what I'm saying. I'm not saying you need to think small. I'm, I'm saying you need to think big. You are bigger than those jobs. So don't destroy your life running behind those titles. You can do better. You are more than your job title, right? You can create things. Even if it's small, that has marginally, I, I would say 10,000 or 20,000, 100,000 times more effect than joining a fan company, pushing some keys, pushing some code, changing some color, having some prestige, that's that's not, I would say, influential, right? So if you want to do something that affects change, I would do start something small, start something of your own. No matter how small it is, it is way, way better than joining some fancy company just because of title or money. And I think that's it. This is kind of my way how I see those jobs. You want to pursue those jobs, that's fine, but just don't pursue them because of money or status or that. You want to take challenge? Yeah. You say, okay, I just want to go and give an, an interview at Google because that's hard and I want to clear that. That's a good attitude because you want to take something hard. But why even think small? Why not you create your own Google? Thanks a lot for watching.